Now that we have the first row and the first column labeled, we can move on and label all other pixels. To label all other pixels, we have to apply rules 1, 2, and 3. To start off with, we want our i variable, the variable that records which row we're on, to start out at 2. We also need to have two nested while loops here. One while loop to go through all of the rows, and another while loop to go through all of the columns. So the first while loop will go until while i is less than or equal to the total number of rows, which here is 480. I'm also going to put an end right away, and I'm going to increment i There's our loop that goes through all of the rows. Inside of this loop, I need to have another loop that increments through all of the columns. The column number will start out at 2, again, because we've already labeled the first row and the first column. And the while loop will continue while j is less than or equal to the number of columns, which is 640. I'm going to type in my end and my increment for j. Now we're ready to apply these three rules. I'm going to create a variable that's called labeled that will keep track of whether or not we've successfully labeled the pixel in question. Rule 1 says that if the pixel to the left is the same, has the same black and white value as the current pixel, then the object matrix value should be the same too. So if the black white value in row i, column j minus 1, is equal to, double equal sign, the black white value in row i column j, then the object matrix value in row i column j should be equal to the object matrix value in row i column j minus 1. If we did go into this if statement, then that means we've successfully labeled the pixel in question. So I'm going to make my labeled variable be equal to 1 to indicate that the pixel has been successfully labeled. Then I'm going to end the if statement. This is the end of rule number 1. Rule number 2 is the complicated rule. This is the rule that says that if the black-white value to the left of the current pixel is the same as the black-white value to the top of the current pixel, but the object matrix value, or the label value, for those two pixels is different, then we have to make the label values the same. So the if statement goes like this. If the black-white value in row i column j minus 1, that is the pixel to the left, is equal to the black white value in row i minus 1 column j, that is the pixel to the top, and the object matrix value in row i, column j minus 1, the pixel to the left, is not equal, this is in, in MATLAB, not is a tilde, not equal to the object matrix value in row i minus 1, column j, 
the pixel to the top. Then we have to make the label for all three of these pixels be the same. And the label that we should use is the minimum label of these two um, object matrix pixels. So I'm going to go get the label that is the minimum between the object matrix entry in the pixel to the left. or uh, I guess this is the pixel to the top, I minus one J. And the label number in the pixel uh, to the left. And I have to apply that label to all three of the object matrix pixels in question. The one we're on, the one to the left, and the one to the top. So object matrix ij, the pixel in question, should be equal to label. And object matrix i minus one j, the pixel to the top, should also be equal to label. And object matrix i, j minus 1, the pixel to the left, should also be equal to label. Then I have to change my labeled variable to 1 because that means that we have, in fact, labeled the pixel in question. And then I can end the if loop, or the if statement. So that's rule number two. Rule number three says that if the pixel to the top of the current pixel is the same as the current pixel, then the labels should also be the same. So we'll say that if the black-white value in row i, column j minus 1, that's the pixel to the left. is not equal to the black-white value in the current pixel, but the black-white value in the pixel to the top, i minus 1, j, is the same as the black-white value of the current pixel. Then the object matrix value in the current pixel ij should be equal to the object matrix value in row i minus 1 j, the pixel to the top. And we should record the fact that uh, the pixel has then been labeled. Finally, there's the possibility that none of these rules has applied and the pixel in question remains unlabeled. In that case, if labeled is still equal to zero, then the object matrix value in ij should be equal to tally plus one, a new object number. And the tally value should be incremented. When you finish this code, run your program to make sure that you have no errors. If you have no errors, Move on to the next video where we plot the result and examine what the results mean.